you, uh, the Trade and Industry Secretary, Alfredo E. Pascual. Uh, oh, please, please take your seat. Uh, the Private Sector Advisory Council Chief and Union Bank Board Director, Sabina Boitis. Union Bank Chairman, Eramon Isidro M. Aboitis, and all the other board members. Union Bank President and CEO, Edwin uh, Bautista. Union Bank Board Director, Samuel Aboitis. And our uh, local host, uh, Mayor Art Mercado. The Sandhub Sand founder, Mr. Jun Inyon. All the other distinguished guests who are here today, ladies and gentlemen, magandang umaga po sa inyo lahat. I am glad to be here today as we inaugurate the Union Bank Innovation Campus and welcome the brimming promises that research, development, and technology can bring to our country. If there was one silver lining, Amidst the dark clouds brought about by the COVID-19 pandemic, I suppose it could be said it is the hastening of the adoption of technological innovations in this digital and modern age. The trend was very pronounced before the pandemic and it was accelerated by uh, need because of the pandemic. And now many people have discovered that this is an actual viable way to do business. We in government have gone a step further than that. Not only is it a viable way of doing business, it is the only way that we will be doing business in the years to come. And therefore, we cannot allow the Philippines to get left behind. And so the initiatives that we have, that we, that we have enacted, such as Union Bank is doing, with this campus that we have just inaugurated today, that we have just opened today, are precisely the kind of innovations, the kind of forward thinking operations and actions that we will need, not only in the private sector, but also in the public sector, so that we in government can uh, be participants in the new digital world wherein we are living in more and more in our day-to-day -day lives. With the help of information and communication technologies, we were able to migrate many of our transactions and our activities online. We found avenues that brought us closer together, and despite the lockdown and the distance between us, we learned to hold meetings, even court trials online, to sustain growth and promote new advances in this sector, it's my hope that you will explore the limitless possibilities and take advantage of the many bright ideas that our experts have so that we can generate more jobs and secure our nation's economic revitalization. The track record of Union Bank in creating opportunities through innovation and digital solutions in the banking sector is uncontested. The opening of the Union Bank Innovation Campus shall intensify the, our collective efforts to bring our banking and ICT industries into the future. We apply that same intention to that in the, pub, the public sector in terms of government, in terms of digitalizing the government at the national level, at the local level. It is necessary if we are to be able to take advantages of the efficiencies that uh, digital, the digital banking, digital transactions, uh, the digital way of doing business is, uh, it, it affords us. And it would be, we would be bereft, we would be neglectful of our duties if we do not recognize the trend that is happening around the world and not only adjust to it, but position ourselves to take full advantage of it. This initiative perfectly fits into, three year, into the three-year digital payments transformation roadmap of the Banco Central ng Pilipinas, which promotes digitalization of payments towards furthering financial inclusion. This roadmap 
has the twin objectives of converting at least 50% of the total retail transaction volume into digital form and the onboarding of 70% of Filipino adults to the formal financial system by next year, 2023. To achieve these targets, we need to hone our competencies in areas such as software development, data analytics, artificial intelligence, and blockchain technology, amongst others. This is in line with our goals under the Philippine Skills Framework. One of the UBIC's objectives is to foster greater partnership between the public and private sectors under the Advancing Government ICT Innovation Leadership and Excellence, or Agile, program. This will not just bring digital banking services to our local government units, but will also enhance other digitalization initiatives in government. Uh, that, uh, uh, that already we have begun just walking through the different displays and listening to the explanations of uh, uh, the briefings of uh, those who have been, uh, uh, who have been at, the, at the head or at the lead of all of these actions, we immediately, with uh, Secretary Pasquale uh, and talking to all the union bank representatives who are here today, already see so many opportunities between the private sector and this, uh, this particular campus and government. And we fully intend to take advantage of the good work that you have done and the initiatives that you have taken. It will not only improve. It will not only improve uh, the. Uh, it will not only improve the business position of Union Bank, <laughs> which, of course, the CEO is much concerned about, uh, as, as as he should be. <laughs> uh, but also, it will increase the economic activity that we in government, we in the bureaucracy will be able to process, will be able to handle, and it will make it easier for not only big corporations, but ordinary citizens who generally are not included in the digital world as of now, to now be included and to take advantage of all the conveniences, all of the efficiencies, and all of the new products that will come out of these new technologies. In our shared success to make the disbursement of social benefits and other assistances to the public smoother, I look forward to the next milestone in our collaborations, which is ensuring financial inclusion through digital technology. This will provide effective access to a wider range of financial services for all Filipinos, especially the vulnerable sector. With you as our partner in this endeavor, I am very confident that our vision of becoming a world-class and tech-savvy country will come to fruition. Especially if we focus on the task at hand, we have aligned our goals, and we continue to be aware of all the fast-moving developments in, the te in technology out there, so we, as a people, we as an economy can take full advantage of those new technologies. You must all, you rest assured, this administration is committed to working closely with you, with other stakeholders in the banking and ICT industry, especially as it redounds to the benefit of our people. As tomorrow dawns and leads to brighter days ahead, let us renew our commitment to improve our present state and make lives better and more comfortable for everyone well, with the help of the technology that we know is now available to us. Together, let us combine our abilities towards the resurgence of all our industries that were deeply affected by the current pandemic and other global challenges. By upholding unity and using our ingenuity, let us build better more and lengthen our strides on the clearer and more stable path towards our country's future. Thank you very much. 
and congratulations. Mabuhay kayong lahat. Thank you very much, Mr. President, for that inspirational message.